Get ready for a rough ride. It's meteorologist Dean Davison, the weather pros, liveweatherblocks.com. We're going to be talking about the severe weather potential. And yes, the severe weather potential is increasing. This is the new Zero Z NAM. And I'm not liking what I'm seeing. If you're uh, following the weather from the Roanoke, Southwest Virginia area, Central Virginia, uh, and then Thursday up into New Jersey, even. Delaware, Maryland, uh, you need to be on the highest alert you could possibly be on for the chance of severe weather. Damaging winds, tornadoes are the biggest risk, some hail else as possible. I'll show you a sounding here and shortly. With a look first at the simulated radar, you'll see where the low pressure comes from. You'll see the shower activity, and this is what I'm thinking about tomorrow. We've got a lot of shower activity here in North Carolina. This may actually uh, lessen the potential in North Carolina actually shifted higher to Virginia. As this moves away, look at the storms out to the west, and then watch the pop-up storms, the supercells start to develop. That's a problem. And we're going to see supercells. Here we go. These are supercells here. Um, Tenzi on Thursday. So that's coming up to Thursday morning. Overnight and Thursday morning is, is going to be the worst potential. And I'll show you, there's significant tornado parameters here. There's um, strong, strong shear. So the potential there for tornadoes and damaging winds are high. Look where the lows are located. It's going to put a lot of a lot of precipitation into the area. So we, I told you the significant tornado parameter, the STP. This is, shows where the best chance of tornadic activity is. You see over South Georgia and in in parts of Alabama and Tennessee, yeah, that's pretty strong, but watch what happens here in Virginia and into Roanoke and areas such as that. We get blasted with this same stuff that we're looking at in Alabama. That's not good. And STP, that high, is actually very, very bad. Uh, and that STP, we get a little bit, but it does push up into Jersey. The significant tornado perimeter means, you know, with those darker, with those brighter colors, the chances of tornadoes are highly increased. This is from Roanoke to Lynchburg, the south side. It's just tomorrow night, we need, you need to have a way to get warnings and multiple types of ways to get warnings. The low pressure in, your, in the area, along with the, set, the strong uh, negative tilt. There's a, you can see what a jet stream is on this thing. The low level jets going to be crazy and screaming. It's coming down and, and tilting negatively. This is called negative tilt. This is bad news. Don't let anybody tell you it isn't because it is. It is bad news coming. And I will pull along here. And you can see where the actual, right here, I'm going to pull a sounding from that uh, as it comes through. Like I said, it's not good. Uh, you have the tornado perimeters. You have the cape. In overnight hours, it's kind of scary, actually, because uh, of that. The low-level uh, spin is definitely there. And this is why I have a issue coming in here. Uh, like I said, the ship's high. Um, the STP is higher. These uh, we got some good, strong forcing and some good... Uh, cape available, a lot of wind available. So this is going to be a very interesting situation as we get into tomorrow. It's not and tomorrow evening. So storms may pop as early as 5 p.m. The majority is going to happen after midnight when everybody's sleeping, which is the big problem that I do see, and I don't like it because the when we have people sleeping. Say we do have a tornado or even some damaging winds, tree falls, people sleeping. There's no way for them to know what's going on, and it's terrible um, for that to occur. So I, I am worried about that um, specifically. I think the enhanced risk when they reissue this is going to be moved closer to Virginia. Uh, I think this is going to move a little further, specifically for the late evening, like I said, time frame. And because if you look, it will only make sense because there's the enhanced risk on the following day, Thursday. And it does have the risk of severe weather as far up as New Jersey, so it has Philadelphia in the area. So we're in for some strong 
severe weather. Please be weather aware. Know where to go. If you're in a mobile home, please um, f try to find a place that, that may let you come to it if there's a warning issued for safety. Um, I am very serious about this. It's going to be a very bad um, day. A lot, of, a lot of severe weather in the middle of the night, and I do not like severe weather in the middle of the night because it, it's nocturnal tornadoes, nocturnal severe weather has the highest rate of f uh, fatality when it comes to severe weather. So please, please, please have a way to get warnings and please have an idea what you're going to do if this occurs because I don't want anybody to be hurt or anybody to be killed in any of these storms that will come through. The wind energy is extreme. The threat of tornadoes are getting higher every model run. Please, please, please pay attention to us here at the Weather Pros and LineWeatherBlogs.com and Roanoke Weather Today um, website. Please follow that. Uh, uh, the one thing is Roanoke Weather Today. Dot Weebly. Dot com. Roanoke Weather Today is all one word. Um, you always will see my stuff on live weather blogs. Dot com and the Weather Pros because that's who I work for. Please, please, please. This, this is a desperate call for action. Please be weather aware and please pay attention. Also, follow your media. The best media I can tell you to follow in the area. That's at least three of the stations that I would wish that you follow. WDBJ7 with Brett Watts and uh, Leo Hirschbrunger and uh, Gene Louise. Also, Clay Osterley, uh, Jason Katarina, and John Carroll on Fox, and George Flickinger, Will Stafford, Melissa Lefebvre on ABC 13. Those three stations specifically, um, I have a lot of connections with and are probably the best way to get your severe weather. Um, so please pick one of them also and be ready for that. I'll post another video in the morning. I'll post an update on where the severe weather may be uh, coming together and timing more in the morning as we get more closer and closer to the system. But uh, the chances of it going down in severe is low. The chances of it going up and becoming more severe is higher. Please have a way to get warnings. I'm begging you to do that tonight, one night before this occurs. We'll talk to you again soon. Meteorologist Dean Davison, thanks for watching. Please be safe tomorrow afternoon and evening into tomorrow night and the Thursday morning. Prepare now. Thank you very much.